Okay, so you would like to start a YouTube channel and you're just like, how do I start? What do I do? I don't know what to use, blah, blah, blah. This video is just for you. I'm going to share with you guys some ideas, how to start, what to think about, what to expect, and all those things. Okay, so let's get into it. The first thing is that you want to figure out what do you like. Do you notice that when you go on YouTube, you gravitate to watching certain types of videos? Or do you like more than one type of topic on videos that you like watching? Consider those and then think, okay, which one do I like the most that I would actually do videos based on that? So that's the main thing. I wouldn't suggest you guys doing videos based on like oh that's popular right now so let me just do it yes and no but that's like later on we'll talk about that but when it comes to starting your youtube channel to know what your youtube channel is about it has to be about you and what you genuinely like okay and then some of us are like oh we like more than one thing yeah that's fine too so if you say that you like lifestyle content okay so you like showing people your life your home your house your favorite products that you love buying your recommendations that you can do all that and also some people be like okay i like doing that but I like doing hair and makeup so you can also incorporate that on your channel so you one thing I would say is don't limit yourself on your YouTube channel too because I know there's a lot of videos out there where people are just like oh niche down niche down niche down yes and no at the same time because sometimes when you do videos that you're like okay I do like this too and I do want to show it on my channel that's the video that would blow up your channel and people are coming to that's why I always tell you guys do a topic that you actually genuinely would like doing and you can talk about for hours or you can do for hours because if that one of those videos blow up on your channel just know that majority of your subscribers are gonna come from that video that's not the end all be all though because one video can blow up and then maybe a few months later another video can blow up so then that's the next type of audience that's coming towards you so again make sure they just all tie together and it's something that you like but if you decide that you do want to niche down that's a good thing to do as well because you would just know that everyone that's on your channel for that specific thing and then some people are wondering oh my gosh I like collecting buttons buttons or I like collecting socks would that be like profitable listen there is a niche for every single thing so you just choose what you like and post about it and it'll be perfectly fine trust me when i tell you guys this i've seen people just do reviews like they go and buy food and review it the people just eat on their channel and does good so it's up to you guys after that you're gonna make your youtube channel and then you're gonna get everything set up i wouldn't really focus on money yet focus on money like way later on so when it comes to names some people are like okay what should i name my youtube channel name it something that five years from now you won't want to switch your name so i see people name them their youtube channels like cute pretty pie blah 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 and then five years later they change their name to something else they're like oh i'm just getting older i'm getting more mature it's not professional and it's like see from the beginning why are you calling yourself juicy girl 22 5 just make sure you form a name that will still stand five years from now ten years from now we see the same thing with rappers they used to call themselves lil 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 but when they reach 30 40 years old they want to take off the lil 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 that's a big tip i'm going to give you guys make sure you're professional when it comes to youtube and branding portray yourself as professional no, I would say to be honest to try to make your things PG-13 or make your content that everybody can watch Don't only limit it to a certain crowd But again, it's up to you and I'm just saying that doesn't mean you guys have to do it But I'm just looking at the brand perspective I feel like when you don't make your content anyone from all audiences can watch it You limit yourself from going on TV you limit yourself from going on interviews or getting interviewed You limit yourself working with brands because some brands won't want to associate with you if you're too explicit And when I say explicit explicit in every way and then you're swearing, you're, you're all about nudity and dancing, very seductive on your platform. Yeah, you might see some creators that are very popular and they have a lot of following based on acting that way. But when you talk to them, majority of them don't really get brand deals like that because brands don't want to associate with people who are too explicit, too sexual, too vulgar with their swearing, the topics that they talk about. So that's just my suggestion. If you want to make extra money and you want to take your brand further, make sure that all audience can watch you. And a good way is like when you make your content, can someone play this in their house? on their big TV and anyone can walk by and they would feel okay knowing that, that anyone can walk by and they can hear and see and it's not inappropriate topics yeah that's like the biggest tip I would give a lot of you guys again there's a thing that I see on YouTube people always have to rebrand rebrand delete old videos that they don't feel like it's professional to have on their Ugh, there's just so much so might as well you guys just get it right from the start and again I'm just suggesting so if you're someone who just swears every single second and all day and that's just who you are in your personality you don't care to change and do it because you'll get an audience for you that will love it as well you figure out what you like you build your YouTube channel you come up with a good name you think about okay how am I gonna want to be perceived because when it comes to social media you can be perceived perceived 
perceived any way that you want. If you want to be perceived as a luxury influencer, you just build your brand to look like that. A lot of people catfish on the internet and it's not really catfishing, it's just the internet provides you an avenue that you can, can curate how you want to be perceived. You just think about that. Next is equipment. I would not recommend any of you guys to go and buy like big cameras, big huge vlogging cameras, microphones, all that type of stuff when you're starting your YouTube channel because some of you guys will do YouTube and then you guys won't like it after because it's a lot of work and it's time consuming. I wouldn't recommend you guys buying any editing software platform. There's ways for you guys to get them for free. So I don't pay for Final Cut Pro. I never did because there's ways you can get them for free. And if you know how, go on YouTube. People always ask me, Hanisha, how do you get this? Hanisha, how do you do that? YouTube is your guys' best friend. We're going to talk about YouTube in a second. So don't invest into anything once you do YouTube. So you record the video, you edit it, you upload it, and then you sit down and you think you're like, okay, do I actually like doing this? Was this time consuming? Man, was this hard? You need to think about these things because people don't realize that it's so easy to watch a video and it's like, oh, this was nice and fun. And then you do the behind the scenes of doing a video, which consists of editing. You're like, hell no, I don't like this. I'm not doing this again. And I've seen it happen to endless amount of people and people end up selling their equipment. So just use your phone. If you have an iPhone, use your phone. If you are an Android user and you want to start YouTube, just buy an iPhone. And if you don't want to buy an iPhone, go ahead and buy one, buy a camera if you want. It's up to you guys and it's up to your budget. Some people don't care. They'll spend the thousand dollars, two thousand on a camera or less than a thousand because you can get cameras for like six hundred, seven hundred dollars, eight hundred. Yeah, so it's just really up to you. But I would recommend use your iPhone. iPhone has great quality. It looks amazing on social media, like on the popular social media platforms better than Android. I would not recommend any of you guys using Android to do social media content because the quality is not the same and people won't tune in. I feel like the two things that make your content look really good is your audio and how your video quality is. Those are the two main things. And once you have an iPhone, they already have that already integrated into the, the phone. So you're going to be really good for that. Now, a lot of people always ask, okay, when it comes to YouTube, how do I do this? How do I do that? How do I grow? How do I do thumbnails? How do I do my description box? How do I get more subscribers? subscribers how do i get this blah 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 youtube dot youtube works go on youtube and the same questions that you're going to ask search it on youtube there are influencers and creators that literally dedicate their whole channel on helping you to grow so you guys need to find those creators that are there to help you guys everything that i learned from youtube i learned from watching other people teaching me things you don't need to go into anyone's comment section and ask them anything when youtube is there and youtube's free when i bought my first cameras my first microphones i just didn't even ask anybody i just went on youtube and i searched best microphones best cameras for 2020 and like you put the year and then i i search up how to work a camera how to do thumbnails everything is on youtube so you guys just go on youtube and then you just check and then all your questions are answered if you guys can't get mad if you guys message your favorite creator and they don't answer because some of the creators i don't know what their problem is but they just feel like they want to keep secrets so don't waste your time so what you want to do is just go on youtube and that's the best thing that you guys can do so we're going to talk about posting posting is so important especially in this digital age on social media and you want to stand out you have to post frequently almost every other day some people can do every day i don't know how they do it but it's amazing but you have to be in people's faces for people to know you for the algorithm to pick up your videos and to push it out but your titles play a very big role in your thumbnails have a very appeasing thumbnail that someone would want to click and then have a title someone would be interested in clicking your video so you want to do those those are the main things okay and then you're gonna post 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 keep your title short concise straight to the point wow have keywords you guys can search up videos on keywords have keywords that are trending so if you're doing a hair tutorial make sure within that thumbnail now you have keywords that are trending like tutorial and hair and blah 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 so that's gonna make people start to once you're posting more people are gonna tune in because every day we always want new people to watch we see people with hundred thousand of subscribers millions the reason why everyone just doesn't only watch their channel we watch everybody else's channel and sometimes we get tired of those people too we want to watch the newest person as well so don't get discouraged keep on posting it takes every everyone's time to grow is different as well we see some people who start today and by next month they're already at like 50,000 to 100,000 or even 1 million we're just like we've been doing this for two years three years and we still don't even reach that far don't worry so then on top of it you want to post 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 have a schedule the only way anyone is going to be a creator a very good creator too is you guys need to have a schedule you have to have a schedule every day you have to be if you're going to say okay i'm going to post once a week on sundays make sure that you accommodate your personal life so you're able to post once a week on sunday and that's the same if you have a schedule i want to post monday wednesdays and fridays you accommodate your schedule that you're able to post those days and the only 
only way you can be on schedule and be consistent and stay on the schedule, you have to binge your content. And binging your content is when you do multiple videos in one day and then you space them out. That's the best way for you guys to grow. You guys are going to get burnout if you guys kind of do videos like... It just depends because if I do one video a day that's very like low impact, it doesn't require me to do so much energy like a sit down video instead of a vlog. I can do one a day. But vlogs, I cannot do vlogs once a day. So I have to be able to know to accommodate. So the next thing on top of it, you also want to incorporate trending videos into your content so more new faces and viewers can come onto your page so say if christmas is coming around and the topic that's trending is holiday gift guide and your channel is about sock you can integrate the trending topic to whatever the topics are on your channel or the main topic is on your channel so an example would be like the perfect socks to gift him for this holiday the perfect socks to gift an athlete for the holiday season and then you can give like a gift guide of like five really amazing socks that you can put in someone's stocking stuffer stuffer for the holiday season so that's an idea now a lot of people talk about inspiration as well when it comes to inspiration i would say just look in your niche and look outside of your niche too because i got a lot of great ideas watching creators outside of my niche in different topics and i loved how they filmed and what equipment they were using so i incorporated into that into my niche and then i also watched others in my niche so i can see okay what's trending and what do other viewers like so that's really the biggest thing. Get info from other people. Don't rely on, oh, what do you guys want to see? And then you just rely on your creators. I mean, on your subscribers to tell you no. Get inspo. Always get, keep them active. Always keep them intrigued. When you don't post a lot, you're not in people's face. So then people are not interested in you more, anymore. So you want to post a lot. And then people start getting more intrigued into you as well and a next thing that i have is about your email and this goes on with branding as well i'm going to touch back on with branding when it comes to branding i would say try to take as nice photos as you can for your thumbnail which is your avatar and then your, for your social media platforms again search on youtube on how to take really nice photos blah 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 so you make sure you have a very bright presentable professional looking it doesn't have to be professional but it's just professional in the sense as quality and and the lighting you want to everyone to see your face you only have a picture of your face for your thumbnail and then for your email don't use a personal email that you use to conduct like to pay your bills and you email friends and family from or or you sign up on shopping websites with create a new email for your social media creation and then you're gonna make yeah you're gonna make your accounts on that email do not use a personal email because if your stuff get hacked everything is gonna get hacked your bank account everything because you have one email associated with your social media stuff never do that that's the biggest tip, tip i can give you guys because i want to prevent hacking i've seen people who have like a huge youtube channel and then they get hacked and they start crying because the person hacked all their personal accounts too like bank accounts their mortgage accounts i don't even know their light bill accounts and i'm just like how did you even <laughs> oh you guys are going to want to know about brand deals and making extra money so social media is very good for extra money because of the brand deals when it comes to brand deals you can charge brands whatever money you want so if you want to charge a brand five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars just for one post on youtube you most likely brands will do it once they have the budget you can charge someone $500 just for a 60 second shout out on a video and usually when it comes to YouTube this is like a whole dedicated video I can do but YouTube you can do like 60 second promotional video for someone you can do a three minute one you can do a dedicated video you can integrate a dedicated portion which is like two minutes within a vlog you can do that within a sit down video the opportunities are endless you can charge someone for extra extra links in your description box for a pinned comment on YouTube you can charge if they extra if they want their name in the title so you get a lot of money and then the thing is even though you're on youtube make sure you guys have other social media platforms like instagram tiktok because that's not other avenues that you can get brand deals on you can get brand deals on instagram you can get brand deals on tiktok so the money is crazy you can get so much money on here you can it just there's a lot of money out there with social media because brands want to get into their audience faces they like you they like your content this is why i tell you guys be Create content that brands would want to work with you and they you can go on TV, you can be on their billboard, you can be on a promotional campaign for a brand because you're family friendly, you can be for everyone. They're not going to put people that are very explicit, always in drama. Brands are not going to want to work with you and then in return, you guys are going to be limiting your money. There's so many brands out there that will work with you guys. Ensure that you guys have a PayPal account, create a PayPal account so brands can pay you through PayPal and also you can have a bank account if you want to open a specific bank account just for your brand deal money you can do that too so brands can wire because some brands only do wiring they don't do paypal 
well some brands a lot of brands are okay with paypal so get paid through paypal and if you have a paypal account make sure you guys create all of this before because just have them and then have it sitting down just so you guys are ready make sure you guys are always ready because you guys never know when opportunities come your way opportunities come like in always i feel like opportunities are always when you don't expect it so it's better you guys be ready for it so yeah brands will pay you all this money you guys be professional when emailing brands don't email a brand the same way that you would email a friend be professional if a brand's not paying you your rate and you feel disrespected don't argue with the brand just stop responding because at the end of the day a lot of these companies are owned by the same person or bigger companies own smaller companies so it's word of mouth behind the scenes so if they realize that you're difficult or you love arguing or whatever they're not they're it's gonna be word of mouth and other brands are not gonna want to work with you so Take that into consideration. Anyways, that's it. I have another video that goes into details about brands and working with brands. So you guys can watch that video. I'm going to link it. I have other YouTube videos in regards to equipment. I have a lot on my channel. You guys make sure you guys watch. They're still really relevant. How to make thumbnails, how to edit. I have it all. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Au revoir.